guys, welcome to the SAP Dojo Team Tour 9. I'm so pumped to share my first competitive season of Super Auto Pets with you. I'm on the team throwing for content, and despite what our name may suggest, we're here to win. The season is seven weeks, and each week my team will be facing one of 17 other teams. Each member will go head to head with a player from the other team, and whichever team wins more 1v1s wins the matchup for the week. And at the end of the season, the top eight teams face off in the playoffs, a three-week single elimination tournament to decide the champion. Are you ready for our lineup? Because it's a banger of a team. Super Auto Gaming is our captain. Then there's Suboptimal, Scooty, Rev GT, Wombat, Mirko, and me. I'm sure if you're here watching this, you know all of them. But if somehow you're not subbed to any of them, go do it now. Our team is also going to be picking packs at random for each game to spice up the competition even more. Usually you pay double for that kind of action party. This week we were against the team Stick Out Your Gap for the Jigglers, and I played Ambo in a best of seven. He agreed to match my random packs for each game. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Don't forget to subscribe to catch the rest of the season and follow me on Twitch to catch the games live or hang out and help me practice for the tournament. Now let's jump into my first competitive Super Auto Pets match ever. And we'll spin. Of course we get Turtle first, that's fitting. Alrighty. We'll be the gooey bulls. <laughs> All right, a draw. Give me the duck. Give me another one. pigeon and then I think we're gonna combine and we'll go here here like that for snail. that surprised the crap out of me totally forgot about turning off alerts uh <laughs> All right, so the first edit of this video without cutting out any of the gameplay clocked in at an hour and 52 minutes, and I figured that was way too long. If you want to watch that version, I have it unlisted on my channel and the link to it is in the description. For now though, we're jumping ahead to the turn 10 battle where I go down to lethal and Ambo is on three hearts. Oh, with the skunk, or with the parrot cow being a skunk, I don't really need the boar. Oh man, I'm throwing. Doesn't seem like it would do a ton in this situation. Hmm. Way too late to take a meat bone. Sushi doesn't seem very good here either, but I'll take it. I think I just threw. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was so close. I need protection more than anything else, honestly. That also seems good. But that seems better. Now I think we do this. If 
I find it, I mean, I'm free rolling way too much here, but I just want to kill and then buy and then get a new one in, I think. The escape on the skunk is kind of useless now, uh, it's so far back. We did kill through the melon there? That was great. Is stat food the play right now, or do I look for more equipment? Tough call. Maybe we just do this and break a melon. Alright, I don't think we're getting you in. I'll do this. To break the melon. Hopefully. I think we're placing the garlic better. You're just bigger. Okay. Hopefully. I mean, this is the last round no matter what. We'll see what happens. Going down to the wire there. Better not be screen cheating. Fifty health? Get out of here, dude. We draw? Chili on you, but I have another one waiting. Maybe that's worth it. That's that. Maybe that gets me over the line. The steak on the cat in the back is a problem. I think I need. I'm probably gonna rearrange though. I think we need you to have at least. If he keeps the elephant camel in the front, then Chili's bad anyway, right? <laughs> or am I just coping? Let's do that. I'll save the stake in case somehow we manage to draw again. I don't need more stake. I didn't roll my last gold. Oops. We don't kill through the melon. No, wait, we draw again. Are you kidding? Oh God, okay. Maybe we mushroom instead of steak, because it's not like we're going to kill the elephant through the melon with the steak anyway. That seems okay. That would be good if I could get a level up, but I can't really just hoping for like pizza. I think a little bit more stats on you is the best we can do right now. All right, cows in the front, which is interesting. Oh no. Oh no, that kangaroo's far too big. We draw again. How do we get out of this? What do we do? <laughs> uh, this, maybe? Or move 
you back? I feel like copying the skunk is probably the move. Um... Hopefully that gets me there. He's scaling though, he's got the cat. I think we're falling behind if he's just buying stat food at this point. Yeah, I think copying the skunk with the parrot was definitely the right call. No, the mushroom! Oh, what the heck, what a good game. GG, Zambo. And then we can roll. What do we get? Star pack. While I was not on the window. All right, we, we go for stats. We hold the strawberry. I think we do care about the pivot. More stats. Don't want to hold. And we're going to be the flying pumpkin. I'm like shaking. Maybe I should put my sweater on. <laughs> Ooh, hello. going hard pivot. Woodpecker for now, but I don't want to hold on to it. And then we're just going to get a ton of stats on this yak. I'll give it the strawberry. Since I have the round, maybe I'll roll. Since I don't have any reason to have strawberry yet. My mouse keeps freezing. Okay, we're jumping ahead to the turn 9 battle where the match gets tied up at 3 hearts apiece. That's when this game really starts to take off. I didn't mean to do that. That was dumb. <laughs> Whatever. We'll look for another one and uh, it'll get its stats back. Alright, all tied up. We gotta, we gotta swing this back in our favor somehow. Hawk's not doing anything. I should have waited. That was dumb. I'm not going to find Shoebill at this point. I still think I need to. Hey, there it is. Is it worth getting in this turn? No, I'll just keep the double vulture. Let's roll. Dang it, didn't find anything.
coconut. Oh, that's so tough. Don't hit the ant. All right. Doesn't seem worth it at this point. Vulture seems bad too. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh god. We just need stats. You're not surviving anyway, no matter what, basically. Um, although, we need to break the coconut. Assuming he keeps his coconut units in the front. Oh, goodness. Hard to know what's best. We did break the coconut. No! Oh, we were off by two? Oh boy. All right, what do we do here? How do we... I mean, there's so many good units here. I just don't know how to fit them in. Vulture's not really doing much. One, two, three, four, usually five. Unless I can play it really well. Leech never got that big. We're not really summoning much. I don't know, man. I don't know. You don't seem very good. We're not summoning much. This would be fine. But I don't think it would get us over the edge. This would definitely go to the shoe bill. And we're using the shoe bill to break the coconut right now, so that doesn't seem to matter. None of this seems to help. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong, but... break the coconut. Oh, but you moved it back even further. <laughs> okay. What the heck? We managed to get a draw out of it. I feel like we just need help. More than anything. I mean, a raptor would be good. Maybe a level on the shoe bill. But if it just gives me health, I'm gonna take some health. Eight versus six. Good hit. Popcorn for the shoe bill. And then how's he gonna rearrange? Hawk isn't doing enough to kill, thankfully. But if he gets it leveled up, it might be a problem. Oh no, wait, he killed his boss. And his shoe bill? <laughs> totally missed that. Um... Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. Uh, Alright. I'm not confident in this positioning, but I couldn't think of anything else to do. We don't kill! Oh, that's it. We're out. <laughs> that's it. Dang it. <sighs> Alright, what do we do? 
what's next. Unicorn, okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. Unicorn pack scares me though. We're gonna be the Giggly Crooks. I put too much thought into my team name, don't I? <laughs> I always like make sure I'm picking something good. Triple Sneaky Egg. Dang, Ambo. Oh my god, my mouse is going nuts. That won't matter because it's sneaky egg. Neither will you. Dang. Maybe I should have frozen that other Baku or gotten it in. Oh, you don't survive anyway. What am I doing? Why did I stack? That was dumb. I won't have a mermel. Whatever. And we lose because of it? We would have at least gotten a draw. It's fine, though. We get that one back. I do like Wyvern. <laughs> Probably not the best option, but I like it. Give me more level ups. There's Mermel. I do like Mermel. I know it's late for Mermel, but it doesn't take a lot to get Mermel strong. It just takes a couple of gingerbread men. I've said it before, I hate that, uh, I hate that a level 2 cracked egg and a level, uh, and a level 1 cracked egg both, um, like, will trade. That feels like it, it should be... He still didn't move. What the heck? I mean, the jump teams are relatively strong, but... I don't know. The melon seems good. I'll grab you. Pogo is not going to work properly because you're going to jump first. Dang. Well, that stinks. Didn't think that one through, I guess. So then, do I care about changing the order then? Probably. Lucky Cat? More Ogo Pogo? I'll take a Lucky Cat. snipe. Alright, 
you were useless, let's get rid of you. My mouse is absolutely failing so hard. It's jumping everywhere. I'm losing it. You go in the front. I think I get rid of you. I'll just bring you in for now. It's messing up my it's messing up my team. I need my Ogopogo to work the way I want it to. I need the money and the stats. The sneaky egg in front of Totsilworm is an interesting strategy for... I tried it in Arena for a while. Didn't work out for me, but seems to be working out pretty good for him. Oh boy. Alright, well at least we get a little extra money here. We're on tier 4s. That seems good. Let's get rid of you. Come on. Just give me a level up. I swear. What the heck? I don't know what they're gonna level up, but they'll level up something, right? <laughs> Whatever goes first, I guess. So one of these two. Our Mermel is dead. No! Come on! What the heck? This is crazy. Probably not worth it at this point. Should we get one of our own? I mean, at level one, it's really not gonna do much. Okay. I know we're probably gonna be on lethal, but I do feel like we have a decent pivot here as long as we can hit at least one good tier six. That goes with this team. Our normal's pretty big. Okay. All right, what do we get here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I kind of want the Phoenix, but I'm not sure. Alright, we're probably going to sell you next turn, so... And then I think we can also replace the Mermel. I'm okay with that. Uh, we're only getting two level ups in battle, right? Interesting. No, the Ocopoco got <laughs> dazed? Come on. What the heck? We draw. Alright. 
do I work on leveling you up? Or do I get you leveled in battle? Or do I level you up for another tier 6? Mm. Decisions, decisions. I think I level you up for another tier 6. Alright, well, that kind of made my decision for me. I do like the money that I'm getting, but I think I have to. should have leveled up the team spirit there that was my bad uh or we get a level three phoenix that doesn't seem bad unless it gets dazed i guess that's technically possible chocolate on it, so I'm gonna go here, and then we start working on you. That also seems good for in battle level up, and then I think we need to get rid of this bean mermel. That also seems good for in, in battle level up with team spirit. Yes. Seems like it's worth it, I think. Oh boy. Oh, okay. The level the level three Phoenix at the back is decent assurance. Um, you level up in battle. You level up in battle. He doesn't have big stats, so I feel like pancakes here is better. And we'll put it on the side box. I mean, I guess I could just go behemoth <laughs> for the stats. Put it in the front, it gets leveled by Ogopago, gets a bunch of stats. Or we look for something. Would Ketsuplottle do something? I don't think the game goes long enough for Ketsuplottle to, to matter much. I think we just need to kind of win out. So maybe stats is the right one. We got two extra level ups in battle now, right? Seems good. I think our stats just overwhelm here. Yeah, we didn't even use the Phoenix. You'll get to level three in battle, actually, right? Because you're giving three experience, and then you'll give an extra one. Oh no, so we'll need either a chocolate or another behemoth or a gingerbread man. Take out the tiger bug before it gets to jump. I don't want to level you up, because I want you to keep leveling up in battle. There we go. That works. Maybe I level it up in the shop? I'm not sure. I mean, his units aren't huge. Maybe a six mana snipe is worth it?
Thank goodness, I actually won one. GG. And let's spin it. Puppy, is it programmed to not repeat? Oh, the wheel is still up. Thank you for letting me know in Discord. I'm not going to read chat. I just need to turn the wheel off. <laughs> Thank you, Sag. I appreciate it. Uh, back to here. Oh, boy. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm going to run out of time. Ah, we lose the beetle. All right. So now I have a win under my belt from game three, and it's now two to one. Now we're jumping into game four at the turn seven battle, and I'm ahead six hearts to two. Going 6-0. I don't want to jinx it. Why did I say that? <laughs> Oops. Uh, all right. So then, tempo blaze, right? That's that's what we're looking for here. I think I just sell you, honestly, at this point. Least health would be the tar. Is that even worth it? Panther still gets chili. Maybe we just try to break the melon. Maybe he keeps the llama at the back. Nah, we'll go foam sword. Um, we'll go foam sword, right? But then the chili kills the hoopo, and that breaks the melon anyway. Could be good. That's, of course, assuming he keeps the same order. Alright, I rolled too much. Oops. Ooh, a level for next turn. Nice. It worked! <laughs> GG. Okay. Spin the wheel. Turtle. It's all tied up at 2-2. Two to two. Now we're jumping into game 5 at the turn 7 battle again. This time, I'm up 5 hearts to 2. Okay. We have him on the ropes. We gotta, we gotta just tempo out here. We just need something big. We don't need to pivot. We don't need... Anything fancy, we just need... That's not it. Although, leveling up into another tier 5 could be it. That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> um... It might be good enough, though. Thirteen. That's so frustrating. Because we trade here, basically, no matter what. Um, I like getting the extra attack on you. But if I put you in the front... You're scaling from the penguin, so you die regardless. Oh, you'll be on 11, though? That might be good enough. Now we're not scaling it, though. I'm going back to this. I'm going back to this. Go, go, go. Oh, I forgot about the penguin scaling. I think we might be okay then. Yeah. Nice. All right. Good stuff. GG's. It's, uh, it's two to three. 
puppy. We are so cooking. All right. Well, don't count your chickens just yet. Good luck, Ambo. This is the exact start I had last time, I think. I don't think I... I mean, stats are still just kind of good, so I'll just take the stats. Alright, same thing happened last time, what the heck? <laughs> That's the exact same start as last time, I think. Maybe not, maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, we'll be the silly tentacles. I'm up two games to three now, and we're going to jump ahead to the turn nine battle where I'm losing two hearts to five. Oh no, he's got the coconut now. And it's 38 attack. I don't think we're coming back from this one, guys. Still on five. Oh. <laughs> I tried to buy the chocolate. Break the coconut. Do a snipe, and then we have the melon behind it. Could be good. And then we give the stats to you. Maybe we give the stats to you, actually. Maybe we forego your stats next turn if we don't lose here. Just to bring the poodle in. And then I don't need to worry about leveling you up either. Oh, that was dumb. I needed the melon directly behind the octopus. I'm an idiot. Oh, all right. Well, it's three to three. Star pack. I can't believe this is going to a game seven right now. Ridiculous. Got to shake it out a little bit here. All right, we go for stats. Go for stats. Screw the pivot. We're going for stats. We want to be the jovial nuts. Alright, give me levels. I know that wasn't the right move. I know, I'm throwing, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully it works out. Are we doing yak again? That didn't work out last time. I'll give it a shot. Alright, we're waiting for turn five level up to team. Which, I don't, know if that, I don't think that's the right move in this pack. <laughs> Seems like we're doing it. Or do we just do it now? We have two level up. Let's 
finally. Strawberry and a ton of dust. <laughs> that's my plan for now. But it's up in the air. I'm not, that's not guaranteed what I'm going for. Giving up on you. We'll bring you in. Give you a strawberry. Um. All right, we got two level ups. That's the only thing that saves me here. Trike is good. And shoe bill. All right, we go here. Have a shot. Maybe. I knew it was gonna hit the koala. I just had a feeling it was gonna hit the koala. You also leveled up into Shoeville? Come on. <laughs> At least we got a win though. I'm keeping you. I think this is worth it now.
you are scaling more health. I think I still think it's worth it. You're giving yourself some attack. Dang, I'm not finding like anything here. I guess I could have leveled up the yak. Strawberry for whatever I replace you with. Hopefully the Triceratops doesn't hit you again. Please, Triceratops. There we go. Decent. We're okay. Nice. Bringing it back a little bit. Maybe I just take some stat food. That seems so bad though. What's he on? Three? to whoever just followed. Really appreciate it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he got a lot stronger that turn. What did he do? Get a level up somewhere? out at all. Give me, please give me a shoe bill. Dude. Oh god, <laughs> it's really coming down to the wire here. That seems worth it. The problem right now is that just all three of my front units are taking out one of his. Which is very scary. And he's probably going to rearrange, although with, it's tough with the Praying Mantis. And now his shoe bill has gone, so he's not scaling anymore. I really would like to level up my shoe bill. It's a little late. I'm going to take the orange. Good hits. If we manage to win, I'm just buying stat food. Probably should have gotten strawberry on this koala, but I was still thinking I was going to get rid of it, and oh god, this is so nerve-wracking. Oh, that pepper is going to be a pain. Oh no, what do we get? 
Oh, it's enough for a draw. <laughs> Is that ever worth it? Plus six, plus six. I think I just have to do this, right? A tier two? Is that even gonna do anything? I mean, the leech. All right, so you're... Oh, you found another shoe bill. I see. That's why you were okay with taking it out? Can I move you back and have these two take out you? 31? No. I cannot. Although you survived. So maybe that's worth it. You're gonna get a buff. You're gonna get 4-4. Four, four. You'll trade with the Praying Mantis instead of taking it out. But I think that's okay. Okay. That's where I wanted it to hit. Thank you for hitting the leech. I think that helps. How do we do here? They both hit there, which is scary. Oh, okay. Down to the wire here. This is ridiculous. Donkey's out. I can't put Pepper on either of you. Do I swap to Piranha? It's got less attack. Significantly less health. But everything else gets attack? I don't think so. Is Pepper better on you? Probably. because a tier 2 is not that great. And then... I'll move you up like that, I guess. And then... I'll... Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm sweating so hard here. No! Oh, down to the freaking wire. Oh, I can't believe that. That's nuts. GG, Zambo. GG, that was ridiculous. What a match! Oh man, that was ridiculous. Oh man, um, oh, really wish I could have won. Oh, Ambo is so sweet. He said, "What a banger opener from you. I really would not want to face you later this season. You're gonna be a beast." I love this community so much. I really do. It's just the best. Okay, so I had a tough loss this week against Ambo, finishing at three games to four. It was a really great match, and it came down to the wire. I did better than I expected to, but getting so close and still losing hurts in a special kind of way. Let's take a look at how the rest of my team did.
Okay, so it wasn't a good week for the whole team. We went 0 for 6, and our captain, Super Auto Gaming, unfortunately wasn't able to play his set. But hey, this isn't the end of the road. We're practicing hard, ironing out our strategies, and getting ready to come back even stronger for the rest of the season. So don't count us out just yet.